Today is October 16th, on which we commemorate Hugh Latimer and Nicholas Ridley, bishops, and Thomas Cranmer, Archbishop of Canterbury. In 1553, King Edward VI, the young and only male heir of Henry VIII, died. During his short reign, the English Reformation had flourished and gained control of the church in England. He was succeeded, however, by his older half-sister, Mary. Mary was the daughter of Henry VIII and Catherine of Aragon. This was bad news for the reformers. Mary was a staunch Roman Catholic, and more than that, associated the reforming party with the disgrace of her parents' divorce and the shame of her mother's exile. She quickly set about to reassert the hegemony of the Roman Church in England. The so-called Marian persecutions began slowly, but by 1555 the imprisonments and executions had begun. The rebellious bishops were Mary's primary targets, especially Hugh Latimer, Bishop of Worcester, Nicholas Ridley, Bishop of London, and Thomas Cranmer, Archbishop of Canterbury and primary author of the Book of Common Prayer. These three had been important leaders in the reforming movement and had wielded a strong influence over Edward VI. They had been put on trial by papal authorities in the spring of 1554 for the crime of heresy. Found guilty and condemned to death, Latimer and Ridley were burned at the stake on this day in 1555 outside Balliol College, Oxford. Cranmer would be executed the following March in the same place. Together they would become known as the Oxford Martyrs, among the most admired figures in Anglicanism. As they were bound to the stake, Latimer famously encouraged his comrade, Be of good comfort, Master Ridley, and play the man. We shall this day light such a candle by God's grace in England as I trust shall never be put out. Indeed, they did just that. Mary's fervor led her to execute 283 people, mostly by burning. The bloodshed alarmed even the papal authorities and it enraged the English people. When Mary herself died in 1558 and Elizabeth I took the throne, the reformed Catholicism of the Anglican movement crystallized and took permanent hold in England, soon to spread throughout the world. Latimer and Ridley's candle still burns today among faithful Anglicans in every corner of the globe. Let us pray. Keep us, O Lord, constant in faith and zealous in witness, that like your servants, Hugh Latimer, Nicholas Ridley, and Thomas Cranmer, we may live in your fear, die in your favor, and rest in your peace. For the sake of Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Thank you.